Anyway, it's there forever. Um, well, you know who's not here forever? The queen, who is dead. Let's take a look. The United Kingdom has a king for the first time in 70 years. Finally. And its people are in mourning for the only monarch most of them have ever known. Queen Elizabeth II was 96 years old when she died yesterday at Balmoral Castle. That's her summer home in Scotland. Buckingham Palace announced the news at 6.30 p.m. local time. The statement said she died peacefully but gave no other details. Here's a look at the gates outside Balmoral where mourners are leaving flowers and notes in honor of the queen. As you would expect, this is front page news all over the world. Newspapers are remembering the queen and her record long reign as Britain begins an official period of mourning that will last through her funeral. Hard to believe, but the last time we saw the queen was in these photos taken just on Tuesday as she appointed in another bit of ceremony, Liz Truss to become Britain's new prime minister, the 15th prime minister the queen met in this way. After she died, Truss spoke to reporters outside 10 Downing Street. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Today, the crown passes, as it has done for more than a thousand years, to our new monarch, our new- Bro, she has, she is the, dude, 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 dude. We know this shit's on autopilot, right? Like we know that these governments, they're, they're well-oiled capitalist machines. They are already on autopilot. So what they should do in this situation is just at least have someone with like a little bit of charisma. Bojo had it, okay? Bojo was telegenic. It is insane that after Bojo, you're going to put this bozo up there, dude. She is so bad. Now, she might have actually murdered the queen, which, you know, props to her if she did, right? But everything else is like she has the charisma. She's like a charisma black hole. This is the Kamala Harris of England. What the fuck are they doing? New head of state. His Majesty, King Charles III. And the new king is expected to meet with the prime minister later today, one of the first official acts he will take as Britain's monarch. Charles is also expected to make a speech on national television, 6 p.m. <laughs> local time uh, this afternoon here in the U.S. And we have a team of correspondents who've been following this news since yesterday. They're in London and elsewhere. We're going to have full coverage of this truly era-defining story over the next two hours. But we're going to go first uh, to Holly Williams back outside Buckingham Palace where thousands of people gathered yesterday to mourn the nation's loss, gathered in the hours after the news broke and gather still this morning in a light rain. Holly, good morning. Good morning. Well, this moment was, of course, inevitable. But there's still a sense of shock here because it's so hard to imagine this country without her. And for many British people, the Queen embodied what they believe is best about themselves. Yes, she was reserved, a woman of few words, but she was... How much, how much coverage can they do about this? Like, how much can they fucking talk about how awesome the Queen was? How, how dope she was? How reserved she was? New King is giving a speech at midnight just to get the American prime time viewers. It's also reliable. Wait, didn't Steadfast. he already do that? Didn't the New King already give a speech earlier today? Am I crazy? and had a religious commitment. God, this, the, the fucking, the TV is gonna be so shitty. Oh my Lord. To her nation. Our last images of the queen, still with a mischievous smile, still doing her duty, meeting Britain's new prime minister just two days before her passing. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. That was how her people heard they'd lost a much loved monarch. No, a lot of people actually found out on Twitter, like me, or they found out on the internet from some of the funniest fucking ways, like, uh, like, you know, seeing a cutout of the Queen's face alongside XXX Tentacion, you know what I mean? Like, we now live in we now live in such weird times where most people are going to find out some of you probably found out because you were watching the myth paintball stream and I went the queen is fucking dead smoking on that queen pack RIP bozo 
Just think about that. That's crazy. This is not how things are anymore. Also, if you want more people to find out about the Queen's death, the untimely demise of a 96-year-old, 96-year-young, the untimely demise of such a young, beautiful, blossoming lady, then make better fan cams. This fan cam's dog shit. Inside Buckingham Palace's Golden Gates, her death was announced in traditional style. But even before that, with the worrying news of her poor health, crowds were gathering as a double rainbow appeared overhead. Wait, that symbolism is not great for you. Don't you feel like God is literally saying, if you believe in that sort of thing, aren't you kind of saying like, yeah, no, R.I.P. Bozo? Like, that's... That's the closest you can get to God literally being like, nah, this shit sucked. Nah, she sucked. It means the Irish are coming for her. The symbolism is the world is healing. God save the queen, they sang this country's national anthem. Except now it will become God Save the King. Truly the end of an age spelled out by the British Prime Minister. We usher in a new era in the magnificent history of our great country, exactly as Her Majesty would have wished, by saying the words, God Save the King. The first news that she was seriously ill came at around noon yesterday. The palace saying her doctors were concerned for Her Majesty's health. In the reserved language of the royal family, that was enough. The country held its breath. Close family members, including Charles, Princes William and Harry, raced to the Queen's summer home, Balmoral Castle in Scotland. By the early evening, we were told she was gone. How are you? Well, as you can see, I can't move. The Queen has looked frail for months, often using a walking stick, and there was a wave of public sympathy as she buried her husband, Prince Philip, last year. But when she celebrated her platinum jubilee this past June, marking 70 years on the throne, she didn't just greet her people from the balcony of Buckingham Palace, she stole the show. Did you hear that they're going to execute all our corgis per her orders to not have them survive her? There's no shot that's real. Are you serious? No fucking way, dude. List off the bad shit she's done for the chat. My brother, I'm going to tell you right now, I already did, okay? Let me let me tell you right now. If you go to fucking youtube.com slash C slash Hasanabi and you click on my latest video, you are going to fucking find out, okay? You are going to find out. I got all them shits. All right, here it is. Here, I'll fucking spam it in the chat. I did this yesterday, and we're going to do even more of it today. Yesterday, I talked about the international impact of the queen and, like, uh, what she means as a representative of the... Uh, of As a representative and a figurehead of uh, British colonialism, b British colonial power, British imperialism. But uh, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, today, I will be talking about, like, her domestic uh, actions as well. Um, I think we, we covered that pretty, she ordered them to stop breeding the corgis in 2017. And when she, and said, when she dies, she wants the corgis to go with her. That's fucking crazy. Complicated.